Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this video, we're going to deal with a situation that I think is quite common for photographers is low light or at least areas of our photo that aren't well lit. Uh, here I have a photo of sunrise at the Grand Canyon and it's it's well lit in the sky and as the sun's coming over, but the entire canyon lands, all the valleys and everything in there are in very deep shadow. But we can use the tools that we have in the develop module in On One Photo Raw to recover those shadows and get all that detail back. I'll start here in the tone and color and I'm going to inch up the exposure just to start with overall. And I want to make sure I have a really good deep black point. So I'm going to press and hold the J key and inch my black point down. Now I'm going to move it down very far. You'll see all that blue area showing up in the foreground. I want to have just maybe a couple of speckles of blue or until there's just nothing remaining. So I have a nice deep black point. We also saw that the sun was blown out. That's, you know, it's a problem and the sun's going to be blown out in a photo like this, but we'll get there. Next, we'll do our shadow recovery. I take the shadow slider and increase that up really far and look at all that detail and that color that is still available in that raw file that we can pull out. Let's rein in the highlights too. We'll pull down the highlight slider pretty far here. Don't want to get it too, too washed out. And one thing I will also do is with the highlight slider, I also like to use highlights purity. And just make sure that those extra bright highlights stay a pure white and don't tank on a uh, yellowish cast. Add a little bit of global contrast here. Not too much because I'm sure I'm going to visit the effects module. And let's play with midtones too. We've got our midtone slider so we can open up the, the valleys and all those colors and those rocks a little bit more without uh, opening up the deep black points that we have in the shadowy areas. A couple more adjustments overall, add a little bit of vibrance just to enrich those colors. And let's switch the white balance to daylight since this was daylight and we'll warm things up. And that looks really much nicer on the rocks and the foliage here. We'll do one more adjustment for the overall exposure in the local adjustments. I'm going to darken the sky a little bit. Let's start with around a half of a stop of exposure lowering it. We'll grab a gradient and just drop that up on the sky there. And maybe I'll ever so slightly rotate that so I don't have to cool off the foliage. And you know, let's actually add a little bit of a temperature cooling just to make that sky get a little bit more blue. Let's take a quick look at before and after on that. Before, after, that's nice. Let's finish this photo off in effects. We'll go over to the effects module, to the overall settings, and I'll start with some dynamic contrast. This is going to help punch up the foreground and really make all those details come out. But I don't want to apply this to the sky. So we'll grab our mask, masking bug. We'll drop a masking gradient up on the top of the scene here and maybe even let that bleed just into the, the ridge lines there because those distant hills, those can be soft. Our sky can be soft and that's looking pretty good. Let's go quick before and after on that. That looks nice. I'm going to use this mask a couple of more times. So I'm going to click on the mask icon here and choose copy. So I want to do a bit of color work. I want to get the greens, the foliage a little greener and the sky a little bluer, but I'm not going to want to apply those colors globally. So I'll add a color enhancer. Let's take care of the foliage first. Now I'm going to use the foliage preset. That does a great job for the trees, but look what happens in the sky. It gets, you know, there's some, there's some yellowish green out there. If I turn that off and on, you can see what's happening to the sky and I don't want that. Well, I'll paste that mask that I used previously. And that's going to take care of removing that color from that area. Now before and after we get a nice pop in the trees and the sky is unaffected. I'll add a second color enhancer. This time I'll use the sky style. And again, I'm going to use the mask because look what happens with the sky itself looks nice, but it's getting a very deep blue cast in the canyon itself, you know, without and with. I don't want to add in that much blue into the canyon. So I will paste that mask and this time I'll invert it. I want the exact opposite. I want the color in the sky and not in the foreground. And so now before and after, get a nice blue pop to our sky. A final touch, we'll add a nice subtle vignette, add a vignette filter, and I'll choose the subtle type. 
So here's the before and after. Before, we had a, a good photo. It wasn't underexposed, but a lot of the interest of the photo was in shadow. With Photo Raw, using the tools in the develop module, able to open up those shadows, add a little style in the effects module, and really make this a nice, rich, vibrant scene. My name is Scott Davenport. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.